हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट सी सम डिसीजन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कॉन्टेक्स्ट फ्री ग्रामर नो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू प्लीज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय डिसीजन प्रॉपर्टीज व्हाट डिसीजन आर वी मेकिंग हियर ओके नो बाय डिसीजन व्हाट वी मीन इज वी आर आस्किंग we are asking some question some question to the context free grammar context free grammar and the answer answer to the question that we are asking the answer to the question that we are asking can be can be yes or no that's it it's such a question which has a reply only in yes or no that's called as decision i mean it's not like a question which will have an answer in a sentence the answer can be either yes or no that's all what what question are we asking to cfg suppose we are given a cfg we are given some cfg let's say any context free grammar we want to ask a question that hello cfg are you going to generate empty language is cfg generating generating empty language by empty language what i mean is the language generated by the cfg will be empty set will be an empty set nothing will be generated by the cfg that can be thought of as a nonsense cfg senseless cfg generated by someone i hope you are understanding like suppose suppose i give you a cfg like this s derives let's say s derives a a okay a derives a b and a derives a and b derives b just check this this is cfg now this cfg will not generate empty language what are the strings generated by this cfg you can see that the smallest string generated is s gives a a then next time this a can directly give a observe this and this a can give us a again observe this so please try to understand that s is deriving a a at least a string will be derived please try to understand language generated by this cfg won't be empty but there are some senseless context free grammars developed which will not generate anything so isn't this a question we are asking cfg are you such that nothing will be generated absolutely no string will be generated this is called a decision property of cfg correct so what kind of other decision properties are we talking about just check first one is cfg are you going to generate a empty set or empty language second is cfg generating generating finite finite language by finite language what we mean is that the language generated by cfg will contain some strings correct is this is this infinite set is this infinite set or the set of strings generated by cfg is it finite to understand this just imagine a very simple cfg like this s is a s a and s is empty now just check very simple very simple grammar now you know this grammar generates all strings which have a in the beginning and a at the end and any arbitrary number of a's okay i i'll revise i'll revise this this grammar suppose this this is the grammar this is much better so what strings are generated what strings are generated empty string because s generates empty uh, directly then it can generate ab a a b b just check it generates all such strings which have same number of a's and b's confirm it but this is infinite it will go on generating these strings 
So the language generated by this CFG is not finite because the set of strings generated by the CFG will contain infinite strings. So we want to know is the language finite or infinite? That's the decision question. I hope you are understanding what do you mean by decision? Decision properties first of all. Okay. Now, the third question that is often asked is membership. What is that membership? See, we are given a CFG again. Some CFG is given and we want to ask is some string element of the language generated by the grammar. Let, let's say we are given a grammar like this. A gives A S B and A gives epsilon. You know this, this generates all strings of the form A raised to N, B raised to N. Correct? Now the question asked is, is A, A, B, 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 is this string element of the language generated by this grammar? Now you note, this double A triple B is not, not element of the language. Because such a string won't be there in the language. Because our grammar generates all the strings which have same number of A's and B's in the beginning and at the end. This is called as membership. Membership property. So we are again asking a question. Is some string element of LG like that? So what are the, what are the decision properties? First, will CFG generate an empty language? Is it really senseless CFG? Second, is CFG generating a finite language or infinite language? And third, is some word, some string, element of the language generated by the CFG? These are called decision properties. We will see how to handle these questions, how to find out the answers for this question. It will be very fun, lot of fun and very simple also. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.